with my partner, I should anticipate that her mood might drop in the lead up to her having her period. Mm -hmm. It's very common. And then after her period, it would might recover. And whether or not that becomes clinically significant, whether or not it's life disruptive for her, rather than she just has a little bit of a low mood, most women can tolerate that. But for those who can't, and that it is disrupting their day-to-day -day activities and how they feel about the world, we have options. Because I'm trying to understand, I want to understand her better. So I'm looking at this little graph here, which says the brain during the menstrual cycle. So the menstrual cycle starts when her period starts. By convention, yes. That's what we say. Day one is the first day you start bleeding. Okay. And so what is she going to go through for the next 29 days? And how might I support her better through that journey? Like, I want to understand what's going yeah. on in her brain. Her brain starts by, from a reproductive hormone level, the brain starts by sending out FSH, follicle-stimulating hormone, which is going to get her ovary to start growing an egg, which lives inside a follicle, and making estrogen. And that rise in estrogen as it's growing will stop her from bleeding. So the beginning, that cycle day one, the bleeding that she's experiencing or her period is because she didn't get pregnant in the month before. So it's getting rid of that endometrial lining, cleaning the slate. She's estrogen and progesterone low during that time period. Mm -hmm. And then once her bleeding stops, it's because an egg has been chosen. Estrogen is then going to rise until it gets to that peak level. During that time, she's going to feel her best for most women. So is that the first 14 days? So the week, by convention, if you had a 28-day cycle, which... Only about 13% of women actually do. But all of these graphs, if you look at, usually use 28 days because it's easy to go week by week. And that's the lunar calendar. Yeah. It's so 28 days. We see that, but we have to acknowledge that most women don't have a 28-day cycle. So, But it is roughly the first two weeks for most women to get up to that ovulatory time period. So the time from I have started bleeding until I am now ovulating, that is all considered the follicular phase. And on this little image that I have in front of me here, it says in those first 14 days, she's going to have better spatial skills and be more anxious. So once you get to your estrogen dominant, so you have a lot of estrogen and you don't have progesterone, most women can are, have increased concentration. They have more focus. They actually can sleep better. 